By the authority vested in me by the Senate of York University, I hereby confer on you the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa Mitho Te Ad Gradum. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Congratulations, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chancellor McMurtry, President Shukri, Dean Skinner. Congratulations this afternoon to the graduates, uh, your family, friends, and your colleagues. Thank you to my guests, family, and friends for being here today. Uh, it's a tremendous honor for me to receive this doctorate from the Faculty of Health. Uh, and I want the entire faculty to know that I know that you truly embrace the broadest definition of health. When York honors me with this award, it provides important recognition to other frontline workers, to advocates, and especially to homeless people, that housing is a necessity for health and a human right. In fact, several weeks ago, we filed a constitutional charter challenge on that very premise. Uh, in addition, you give them great fun at my expense uh, at the obvious joke of calling a nurse doctor, and it has begun already, every chance they get. Uh, to the nursing faculty, and I, you're all over the place here, okay. <laughs> um, uh, I am thrilled when I receive calls and emails and visits by York University nursing students. When a York University nursing student works with me on a project like Elizabeth Lee did today, and Elizabeth's here today, graduate of uh, 2008, uh, I'm ecstatic. Uh, as part of her studies, she worked on Home Safe Toronto, the documentary film I produced on homeless families and children, and it was made better because of her work. When you integrate social justice and concepts like poverty, homelessness, and hunger into your core curriculum, you are leading the way in health and nursing education across this country, and we need that leadership badly, so I want to honor you for that. Now, after we did the seemingly impossible and declared homelessness a national disaster in 1998, I was relieved because I believed the solution, a national housing program, would be forthcoming. Today, 12 years later, I am dismayed. I can only describe our government's efforts to deal with mass homelessness as comparable to BP's top hat procedure to contain the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Efforts that focus on concealment, containment, media damage control, and disregard for health. Our governments have made little, if any, effort to deal with the deprivation of poverty and its accompanying hunger and homelessness. And it's important that we consider the concept of effort, because when we choose to put effort into certain types of issues, we do amazing things in this country including put an accomplished, putting an accomplished woman like Julie Payette, another doctorate recipient this week, into space. Our country's leaders have not put effort into dealing with the one in, first, in six, the one in six First Nations communities who do not have safe drinking water, or to remedying the situation in Attawapiskat First Nation, where ironically their school sits on a site contaminated by over 30,000 gallons of diesel fuel. They have not put effort into reducing our infant mortality rate in Canada. We are now 24th in the world. They have definitely not put effort into creating safe, affordable housing for the 4 million people waiting for a place to truly call home. And I could go on and on. <laughs> 